Hello everybody, welcome back to Mono's Minecraft. How have you guys been? I've been pretty well myself, been pretty pretty busy in this world. Not in the real world, because I am on break, which is the reason why you guys are getting this extra episode in the middle of the week. I'm just standing up here. Just looking. Having a nice time. We got a lot of horses right back there. Get on a F5 view. We've got a lot of horses right over there. We got a hole there and there. We've also got something a little special. Let's see if you can see him. See right right in there? Let's see if we can get to him through here. not what I wanted to do, but that's good enough. We've got a white horse in our place. And I think this is an omen. This is Cloudy's spirit reborn. Those of you who don't know, we once had a beautiful white stallion. And he was known as Cloudy because he just, he would just drift like the clouds that I have turned off. And I had him and I loved him. But he passed because he was stupid. We got him from all the way up front where we first spawned. And we would bring him over here and before this whole building was built, like not even the first floor was done. We had a little smelting storage place right here. And he would jump up and then fall. And then go back up and then come back down and fall. And take a little bit of damage every time. And that had accumulated. And my mouse is dead. I'll be right back. Alright. Batteries replaced. Everything's good. So, continuing with the story, he would continue to uh, climb up, fall down, climb up, fall down, and he eventually accumulated enough damage to the point where he died. Do we want this guy? Ah. Uh, Not a fan of leads, they break too easily. Anyway, so he's dead. And that's why we have a shrine to him all the way up front. And we are going to tame this beast with some sugar. Let's get half a stack, should be plenty. I should have brought in a lead. I, I should have brought in a lead. I don't need this. I'll just climb up the stairs right here. Need to pull him out of this little hole. But he's here, and we're going to need him for what we're doing today. So, hopefully Cloudy's spirit grew stronger and wasn't as slow as he used to be. Those are not Cloudy. Cloudy is no longer. Let's see what you got, horse. Don't defy me. Alright. Okay. Let's feed you, feed you, feed you. All the way up. I'm surprised the horses don't get fat. Oh, he loves us. 14 hearts. Excellent. That's a good number. I think the max is 15. I think. Let's get a saddle. Got a lot of saddles. On. Are you any fast? Oh my gosh, he's so slow. He's so slow. Can he jump? 
Eh, three blocks-ish is what it looks like. Alright. Well, it's kind of a disappointment, but whatever. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Sorry, I had to uh, check my headphones. I think it's my headphones are dying right now. I can only hear out of one side, but nothing I can do about that right now. So, I've done some work. I've done a lot of work, which is the reason why we wanted this guy but he turned into disappointment kind of like his father but last time we went all the way over there like 3,000 blocks like a thousand blocks this not like 700 blocks this way and like 25 2400 blocks that way so about 3,000 blocks and we whoa we made a tunnel and then not a tunnel I don't know if I did this on camera, but in the nether, like right under here, um, I made a little path to get there, and I also decided to make a tunnel to get there because resources are nice, and it's easier than having to go in the nether, come back out, bring a bunch of stuff, in the nether, come back out, bring a bunch of stuff. So. I made a tunnel, and I just finished it today. And I hope I cleared enough space. I didn't. I didn't. All right, let's let's just push, bring you down here. But yeah, I'm gonna have to push the ceiling up another block or two, which is fine. Let's let's bring Junior down. We'll name him in a bit. Then we'll get on him, and we'll just ride him down. And I'll tell you a story about all this. Well, not really a story. I don't have a story. Nothing exciting happened while I was doing this. But this is a long tunnel. This is a very long tunnel. And I just finished hollowing it out. Which is like a 3x3x3,000 three by three by 3, block thing. And then there's also decorating it which is going to take another three up here, three, 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 so that's twelve blocks for three thousand long. Probably a little bit more too, because of corners. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. But, it's a lot of dressing up we gotta do. But that's not what we're going to do today. So if we take this all the way down, I have not done any work. Pick that up. Any work. Got to grab that too. I have not done any bit of work on the. Uh, what's it called? The future to be horse stable in that extreme hills biome that we are heading to right now. Not done anything there. other than this tunnel and setting up a portal and we're not really gonna do that today I just wanted to show you guys how like what I've been doing in the world and we're not doing anything in there today or the village we're gonna try doing a little bit something different today we're gonna see how it works out hopefully it's gonna work out fantastically but, how much further are we? Only 600. We have to get to negative 2400. Alright, I'm just going to speed up this footage from here, and when we get there, I'll show you guys. Or, I'll continue talking to you guys. This is really just to show you the tunnel. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are at the end. I'm going to take a bunch of damage right here. Oh, I guess it's only on the way down. 
and we come out right here and I think this was the perfect spot to do this and there's the portal I don't think I showed this and I put a little under chest here and a bed so yeah I lit it up so it's not so hazardous during the day or night really but we're gonna figure some stuff out we're probably gonna stick like an elevator in one of these pillars or a few of them who knows who knows what we're gonna do but if you guys saw my F3 screen when I was going through that tunnel that tunnel was at Y12 which is probably the most optimal level for resource gathering in the game and I got a ton of resources and when I say a ton I mean I have never had this many resources in my years of Minecraft and I've been playing Minecraft for a while I am an alpha player not an inf dev unfortunately I started probably two weeks after it left inf dev but I'm going to go back to the base and show you guys who should I go in here Ooh, this is much faster Ooh, I could lose the horse I could lose the horse I could lose you let's try it I need, I need my bow. Oh, I'm just going so slow. All right. Let's see. Oh crap! Oh crap! Okay. I swear, horse, if you fall. isn't worth it for you horse you did nothing to deserve this okay you stay there I'll just go all right um I don't think you guys want to see this because it's just an eight times shorter version of what we just did I'll just meet you back at the base oh yeah I, I did want to show you guys this there was a gas here and I killed it and it's a uh, fireball it's blowy up ball thing whatever you want to call it uh, is still there and I can hit it and knock it into whatever I want but I'm not gonna do that I wanna do something with it we're probably gonna end up caging it but I just wanted to show you guys that but we're here back at the base um, Junior's over there and it's night time doesn't matter doesn't matter though Alright, I'm going to show you guys all the resources I've gotten from that one tunnel. Alright, 3,000 long, a single tunnel. Okay, are you ready? I'm going to go from most boring to most interesting. Coal. I probably had two lines of this and I haven't gotten all of it. This is unimpressive. Who cares about coal? But I'm going to have to start mining this coal because I don't have much more room. Next, probably my most favorite of all, the iron. That is two blocks, two stacks of iron blocks right here. It's just an incredibly large amount of iron. Gold is very nice, five and a half stacks. Second favorite, I love diamonds over two stacks of diamond ore which is incredible I have never had this much diamond before not all at once and you can tell the damage on my silk touch pick it's taken a beating uh, we've, we did cut through a few extreme hills biomes so we've got about a dozen emerald ore I'm not going to break these I like how they look regularly the diamond ore block we're probably going to use it for decoration if we ever want to get uh, emeralds we would probably just get them from villagers and then lapis quite a bit of lapis quite a bit 
and uh, this is actually probably one, two, three in order of favorites. So shift everything down. Look at all that. Look at all of that. It's beautiful. That's what we have to work with now, guys. And it's amazing. Whew. It's exciting. But what we're doing today is going to involve the sky. Whoops. We are going to begin building a mob trap now. A legitimate mob trap. And I got the idea while digging because we were coming across so much redstone and iron. And this is going to be a piston based mob trap. It's going to go all the way up to the top. So we just have to find the center of this, which is going to be about here. This is the center of our base. They're going to fall down a tube for just a little bit. Then they're going to come forward and fall straight down into there. I may have a switch to have them come out right in front of this. But I'm not sure yet. What I definitely want to start on is that up there. So, I'm going to get the materials, I'm going to begin smelting, and I'm going to break some redstone on camera, because it's exciting. So, I'm going to begin doing that, and I will be back with you guys. Alright guys, so quick before we begin, two stacks of redstone ore blocks is what we're going to break and I've got my fortune 3 pick right there we're going to pillar all the way up as high as you can go hopefully two blocks worth is enough I do think it was it will be enough I've got eight stacks of iron smelting which sounds no 16 stacks of iron melting smelting which sounds absolutely ridiculous um we're gonna make a bunch of pistons because it's going to be a piston based farm and it's not going to be super high I'm going to do just a quick glance at the wiki you got a pretty nice world I'm going to quickly glance at the wiki because I want to make sure I'm going to build this at the optimum height I don't want to repeat the mistakes we did originally the last mob farm we made was two far underground and took far too long for the mobs to reach the killing point and it was far too inefficient so we tore it down so anyway here we go with the fortune all right not level 30 not even kind of close, but okay, let's make sure we got it all before we check our inventory. That was two stacks. I'm expecting about four and a half, five stacks. Okay, I was wrong. Wait, no, double that. Like nine, but even more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve stacks, and then some. So that's an average of six redstone per block of ore. Alright, cool. I'm gonna get ready again, and I will be back. And I am back, guys. So, I put in the first layer of this trap, and it's it's pretty basic, nothing special. Are you serious? Alright, there goes the frame drop. Anyway, so, mobs are going to spawn on on these platforms right next to the pistons and the pistons as you guys should know by now 
they are not counted as solid blocks because they let light through. So they are not going to decrease the the, the spawning rates of the mobs. So they're going to spawn there and they're going to get pushed off immediately because their head is going to be in this tripwire as demonstrated before. This is very similar to our Enderman farm. Just not a straight line. It's kind of like a plus. If we go up, we should be able to see it easily. So, yeah, just a plus. Then the uh, tripwire gets triggered, signal straight down, activates the piston. So, pretty basic. Now, one section of this, which would be this, is one, two, three, four, five, six pistons long. So one section is 12 spawning spaces. So right here we have 48 spawning spaces. This thing is not meant to be super efficient at all, just to get passive drops. A super efficient one when we make it will be much later. And we do have quite a bit of the dark caves around here lit up, so this should be pretty, pretty good spawning rates. Not the best, but pretty good. Let's cap this off and see if we can get oh I almost fell there see what kind of raids we can get um, I also brought some ice to stick in the corners put that right there there we go it's night time so hopefully I can finish this up and sleep so that we have the day to get a test in as opposed to the night now behind the pistons I put solid blocks right there that's because they they let light through and if it's uh, light level 15 right outside so this whole place would be lit up and mobs would not be able to spawn so that's going to decrease our spawning rates just by a little bit and I did that instead of putting a giant roof on top because I wanted light still down below. These are like what, one, two, three, four, five, seven wide that we're losing. That's not too much to really diminish our light down at the bottom. If it is, then we'll just I don't know, we'll stick a roof on and use that and then the light won't matter, and then we can make this as efficient as we want. Alright, let's cut this out. This is far enough for mobs to be killed upon impact, which is good. Now we just gotta cover this up. Oops. Yeah, they're gonna fall down there. Alright, let's turn this all into darkness and close this up. This is probably going to be a poor and inaccurate test, but eh, whatever. A test is a test. We're just testing to make sure that this idea works. Alright, then we'll cap that off. That. And I want to come right up on top. Okay, good. What? Did I just see snow? Oh, we might be high enough to get some snow starting. Alright. Let's light this up so nothing spawns up on top. Pop. Pop. Hopefully that's enough. And let's get down there. Alright. 
this sleep. Have the mobs despawn around us. And this is the center, which means we want that. Alright, so let's sleep. And it's a very small test, so there's not going to be too many mobs coming down, but We are close enough. I don't think we're close enough to see the mobs in there. Oh, I didn't cover the pistons at the bottom. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Be right back. Ah, uh, there we go. It's working. Excellent. So, I just covered them up. Letting it sit. Now, there's only 48 spawning platforms in there. Or spawning spaces. Not that much, not that much, but it's a start. Now, it, I may have put it a bit too high, which would suck. It is, I think, sixty blocks up, maybe a little bit more. So, may want to change that may want to bring it a bit down. The reason I put it up so high was so that it wouldn't really interf interfere with how things looked down here. And by that I mean you'd walk around, look around, and you wouldn't really see it until you looked up. But I don't think that's really going to make much of a difference. So I may end up lowering it just a bit. It's about 80 blocks from this, because we are standing at Y70, and that is up at... It's at Y140, that's, that's where I built it. So that's where the water streams are at. So a little higher, and it's up there, so... It's close enough so that it will spawn mobs to the point where they will not be too far away to instantly despawn but close enough to the point where they can reach the floor or down they will reach this area before they despawn because the way it works is from 32 to 128 blocks is the range where mobs have a chance of despawning and the way that works is after 30 seconds after they've spawned for 30 seconds, so it was kind of like a 30 second cooldown, they have a 1 in 800 chance every game tick, which is a 20th of a second, different than a redstone tick, to despawn, which is on average 30 seconds to despawn. So that is a total of about 60 seconds to get them from all the way up there to the floor down here to be within range so that they don't despawn and they'll be dead by the time they get here so that's good there other than that I think it's a start for today probably gonna end up lowering it a few blocks 20 ish maybe it's gonna suck but it's exciting it's exciting I might <laughs> I might add uh, extensions off that way and that way I may end up making it like a big square, like a 2x2 two two square or something. I don't know. Don't know yet. But we are definitely going to find out, and we are going to be done for today, unfortunately. Wrapping it up over half an hour, I think. So, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to do some more work on this spawner, or mob farm, between episodes. And you should see another one before the end of the week. So... Again, thanks for watching, I appreciate it very much, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.